Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to sell digital products on Instagram. Selling digital products can definitely be a good way to make some money online. What are digital products? Well, a digital product is any product you sell online that doesn't have a physical form or substance. For example, web templates, ebooks, software programs, or so on, all of these are considered as digital products, as you don't have to worry about physically shipping them or anything like that. And that is one of the main reasons why digital products are so popular. And one of the best platforms to research different digital products, from my personal experience, has been Etsy. So all I would recommend you to do if you don't have any idea of which digital product you would like to sell is simply go on to etsy.com as you can see that I've done right here. And if you were to type in for example Instagram, you can see that persons are selling Instagram posts. They are also selling Instagram templates. For example, if I were to tap on Instagram template business, I would be redirected to this page. And from here, you can see the different Instagram templates that they are selling. So let's say, for example, you can see right here, chick Instagram templates. And these are 30 Instagram template. So these are 30 different posts. Once you have purchased this from Etsy, you'll get 30 different posts that you can put on your Instagram. And there are also persons that are selling Instagram highlight cover. For example, if I were to type in Instagram highlight, you can see right here Instagram highlight covers. Let me tap on that real quick so you can get an example of what I'm talking about. And an highlight would basically be a story after you have posted a story and you save it. You can see right here the different highlight covers that persons are selling. And this one right here for $6.20, if I were to tap on it, you can see that persons are purchasing this and all they are doing is creating simple highlights and all of these can be done on a platform by the name of Canva so you can use Canva to create different digital products for completely free. In fact, Canva has its own theme or own section on Etsy that persons go on to purchase. For example, you can create something called Canva Templates and these are examples of Canva templates right here. So by scrolling down, you can see them right here. If I were to tap on this particular one, you can see an example of different Canva templates. So you can see you will get a thousand different templates right here. So this person is selling theirs for $2. And you can see that over 20 persons have that in their cart. So these are different ideas of digital products that you can create. And all of these can be created on Canva for free. All you'll need to do is go onto canva.com, sign up. Once you have created an account, you could go onto Etsy for inspiration. And you can choose different digital products that you think you'll be able to create. And all of them, if you put in the time and effort, you'll be able to create them also. Once you have created your digital product, the next thing you're going to need to do is choose a platform on which you would like to store your digital product. Because to sell it directly onto Instagram, you'll first need to create a website more than likely. Unless you're going to be doing, for example, Canva templates. With Canva templates, you'll be able to get a URL that you could use. But if you are going to sell other form of digital products, for example, an ebook or a software, I would recommend that you go onto Wix.com and from there you can sign up for free again. And after signing up for free, you'll tap on create new site and you're going to be redirected to this page. And the beautiful thing about Wix is it is completely free. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. And you can create a beautiful and professional looking website in no time even if you have no experience in creating websites. This is one of the main reasons why I recommend Wix as it is beginner friendly. So let's say for example, we will be selling an ebook. All you'll need to do is simply type in ebook right here. And after doing that, 
from here you could tap right on ebook right here or you could tap on marketing ebook landing page but for this example i'll tap on ebook in general then we are going to tap on next after you have tapped on next from here you can add your business name so let's say for example i want this to be called simple answers then you'll simply tap on next after you have tapped on next you are going to be redirected to another page and from here you could choose the plugins that you would want available on your website so you can scroll down we are going to be adding online store then you can scroll down and you can view the different plugins as you can see right here if you see any plugin that you would like to add all you'll need to do is click on it then you're going to tap on next at the bottom of the page after you have tapped on next you're going to tap on begin with a template once you have tapped on begin with a template you will be redirected to this page and from here you can choose any one of these templates that are to your liking for this example i will choose this template so i'm going to tap on edit once you have tapped on edit you're going to give it a few seconds to load up as the ai is creating your website in the background once it has been created i'll show you what to do next for instance how to upload your digital product how to set a price and then i'll show you how to add this link to your instagram page once it loads up this is what you'll see and all you'll need to do now for example if you would like the ai to write some content for your website you can do that by filling in information in this box right here then tap on create site text but for this example i won't be doing that so all you'll need to do is tap on the x then you are going to tap right where you see plus 50 percent in the top right hand corner after you have done that, I want to show you a few things that you need to know about this platform. The first thing is by going over to the left hand menu option and tapping on add elements. By doing that, you'll be able to add, for example, text, images, buttons, anything at all that you would like to add to your website. You will see that option by tapping on add elements and all you have to do is simply drag and place it onto your website. A second thing that you should also know is to change anything on this platform is quite easy. All you have to do is hover over the section. For example, right here, we're going to be changing this to add our own ebook. So you can simply hover over this section, then tap on quick edit. Once you have tapped on quick edit, you can see right here, you'll be able to change the site background. You can change the text right here. You can also edit the buy now button as you can see right here and you can change the image cover by tapping on change image you could upload your own ebook cover and also by going over to the left hand menu option again tapping on the third icon from the top which is pages and menu you will see the different pages that are currently on your website if you would like to edit one of the pages, all you have to do is tap on a page you'd like to edit. If you would like to add a page, you're going to tap on add shop page. For example, we are going to be editing the product page. So we are going to tap on product page. So let's do that real quick. After you have tapped on product page, you will be redirected to it as you can see right here. Now we are going to tap on manage products in the top left hand corner. Once you have tapped on manage products, you are going to be redirected to the product page on which you'll be able to upload your ebook or any digital product that you are selling. So as you can see right here with the Wix editor, it is quite easy and straightforward to use. So all I need you to do is go over to the top right hand corner, tap on new product, then you are going to select digital file. After selecting digital file, you'll be redirected to this dashboard right here. And now you'll be able to upload your ebook or any digital product that you plan on selling. All you'll need to do is tap on upload file and then you'll be able to upload the product. After you have uploaded the product, you can add the product name right here. You can add a description if you want. Then by scrolling down, you'll be able to add some images and videos. 
and you can also set the price for your digital product. Once you have set the price, you are going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once everything has been saved, all I want you is go over to the left hand menu option and from there I want you to scroll down. So we are going to scroll down real quick. Then you are going to go right where you will see billing and payments. You are going to tap on payments. After tapping on payments, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And I want you to tap on manage payments right here. After doing that, you are going to be redirected to this page. And from here, you'll be able to connect your PayPal or any other payment option that you would want to your website. It all depends on your location. So for example, to connect PayPal, all you'll need to do is tap on connect PayPal. Then from there, you'll be able to fill in your PayPal information. And if you don't have a PayPal account, you could simply tap on create PayPal account. So now once someone visits your website, they will be able to pay through PayPal. After you have done that and you have added your products, all you'll need to do now is tap on publish in the top right hand corner. But let me tap on preview first so that you can see how it looks once the website would be live. This is how the website looks right here. So all you would need to do is simply tap on publish. Once you have tapped on publish, what I want you to do next is tap in the top of the URL right there. You are going to copy the URL. Then you are going to go on to bit.ly.com. Bitly.com is a URL shortener that we are going to be used. So all you have to do is tap on get started for free. Once you have tapped on get started for free, you are going to scroll down and you are going to tap get started right where you see free right there. Then after you have done that, you can sign up using your Google account. You can see right here, I'm currently on the Bitly dashboard as you can see here. So all you'll need to do once you're on the dashboard, you're going to go on to go to links or you could tap on links right here. So let me do that. You'll tap on links right there. Then from there, you could tap on create links. So to create a link, it is quite easy. All you have to do is tap on create new in the top left hand corner, then tap on link. Then you'll simply paste the link right there. Then I could type in, for example, ebook as a title. Then I'll simply scroll down and I'll tap on create. And once it has been created, all you'll need to do now is simply copy this link. So you can see that the link has been copied right here. So all you need to do now is simply copy the link by tapping on copied. Once you have done that, you're going to go into Instagram. And if you don't already have a business account, you are going to need to tap on settings. Once in settings, I want you to tap on settings and privacy. After tapping on settings and privacy, right where you see professional account, you are going to tap right there. Then after doing that, you are going to scroll down and you are going to tap on switch to business account. Then you will tap on switch. Once you have switched to a business account, you will now be able to paste links in your dashboard or better yet yours. Once you have now switched to a business account, you will now be able to paste links in your bio. So all you will need to do is add a business email right there. Once you have now switched to a business account, you will now be able to paste the URL in your bio. And that's basically it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.